Benvenuto, welcome to Cherry Hill Home Cooking. My name is Mark. Today we're gonna to make my version of a sweet potato and carrot soup or bisque. Of course, a bisque is generally something that's made with cream and it's all blended together. And it just sounds nicer, so we're gonna call it sweet potato and carrot bisque. Now, the one thing we're gonna change on this one today is we're gonna make it completely vegan. Um, I have done this uh, using butter and dairy products, uh, but I thought, hey, it'd be nice to have a couple more vegan um, or oh, vegetarian, but this is, this is completely vegan uh, recipes um, up for you guys. So we're gonna make this vegan. So what are we gonna need for our recipe today? Of course, the two most important ingredients are sweet potatoes and carrots. Now I've got a total of about two and a half pounds of sweet potatoes. I've got about a pound of carrots, all right? So two and a half pounds of sweet potatoes is gonna be three or four medium size um, sweet potatoes. A uh, pound of carrots is gonna be two big carrots. All right, and um, for our um, broth base of it, we're gonna be using some vegetable stock because we're gonna be keeping this vegan. If I wasn't doing it vegan, I'm. Uh, probably you would use vegetable stock, but you could also use uh, chicken. And um, we're gonna use some coconut milk, full fat. Uh, this recipe has got such a small amount of fat in it. Uh, using the full fat coconut milk will, um, you know, it gives it that a little bit of that luscious mouthfeel with the fat. Um, also unsweetened, all right? Cause we, we've got uh, sweet potatoes and the carrots are sweet. So you want to get the unsweetened. Uh, we're going to use some um, warm autumn spices or spices that, uh, you know, get me in the mood for autumn. So we've got some ground ginger, some ground nutmeg, and I'm going to use a little cumin in there. Um, we're going to need, of course, some salt and pepper. We're going to need some uh, good quality extra virgin olive oil to get our, our onions fried up. Oh, speaking of that, we need a whole, a large onion. Um, and believe it or not, guys, that's it for our soup. Then we're gonna garnish it. Of course, just some garnishes you might uh, use. We've got some uh, sunflower seeds. Um, we're gonna have a sandwich uh, with our soup tonight. Um, so I'm not gonna use um, breadcrumbs uh, or um, croutons, but if you love croutons, of course, I'm sure Wade will probably put some uh, oyster crackers on there, or you could garnish it with some um, parsley or uh, chives. Um, as I just said, soup and salad, uh, I'm sorry, soup and a sandwich is one of my favorite um, weekday meals in the cool weather and the cold weather, of course. Um, not that it's really was all that cool today, although it was a beautiful day, uh, but thank God I hope we're over that awful hot weather that we had over the summer. Um, so anyway, as far as our carrots are, are concerned, guys, we, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, puree this all in the emergent blender so we don't have to cut everything up um, fine or too small or be particular about how it looks, but you do want to kind of cut everything about the same size. So I've got our, uh, most of our carrots in there and because these are thin, I'm just going to cut them, you know, just about quarter of an inch, half of an inch thick because uh, we just want everything to kind of cook together at the same time. Um, same thing with our sweet potato. This is a, was a small sweet potato. Cut that into fourths and then just give the sides a cut. Again, don't be fussy with it. We just want everything to cook around the same time. And same thing with the onion. We don't really have to worry about how pretty it looks because it's all gonna go in the pot and cook together. So I'm just gonna cut it in half. Um, and just give it a couple rough chops. Uh, this is a white onion. You can use whatever uh, type of onion you've got handy. And use a yellow brown medallia if you've got it. That's how we're going to do that. And then even the garlic, 
We're not going to worry about really mincing the garlic up all that small because we're going to do it in the immersion blender. All right, that's all of our prep, with the exception of peeling the carrots and the sweet potatoes, um, which I didn't think you'd enjoy watching me struggle pe uh, peeling uh, sweet potatoes. However, you don't have to peel them. Um, of course, there's, um, we're going to cook everything in the broth. We're not going to drain the water or anything. So we're going to you know, retain uh, the nutrients from uh, the sweet potatoes and the, the carrots. Sometimes if you boil them um, and you've... Um, uh, peeled them a lot of times the nutrients are you know you're, at least some of them you're you know throwing down the drain uh, but so if you don't want to peel them just uh, scrub them good and um, chop them up like that all right I'm gonna clean this stuff up get everything organized and we're gonna get everything in the pot see you in a bit All right, so I've tried to kind of, no, I've made this just a one pot meal. Now, keep in mind, if I was just cooking this uh, for us for dinner tonight or making it for, uh, you know, some other reason, I wouldn't have everything in bowls and everything. I'd have everything chopped up and still be on my cutting board. So, um, you know, of course that does add us to do a little bit more dishes, but we got to show you, you know, our steps of doing it. So it is really just a one pot um, dish. Um, all right, so, as with all good things in life, we start with sauteing some onions. So I got my heat sauce on at about medium half. And you're going to need about two tablespoons of olive oil. Because uh, we're also going to uh, saute our carrots and sweet peppers a little bit. So um, I don't know if you can pick up on that, but um, we don't talk about that or not, but when I put my oil in, it almost immediately started bubbling just a little bit. I don't know if you can see those little bubbles there. That's kind of always what I use in, as an indication that it's at the temperature I want. All right, so first thing we're going to do is get our roughly chopped carrots in the pan. And we're going to give them a bit of a saute. Um, we want to get a little tiny bit of caramelization going. We don't need to cook them thoroughly, they'll become translucent, get them all. When you throw your ingredients like this into your pot, get it all covered with the oil, you know, so give it a stir, because that way you're gonna make sure nothing sticks or burns. So that's really easy. I'm gonna put just, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit because it's popping. I'm sure I say this every time, but this, uh, this, the smell of onions cooking. I don't know, I love it. I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt in there. This is kosher salt, a couple of quick pinches. That'll help our onions to give up a little bit of their moisture and help them saute a little bit. All right, so that's probably gonna take, that's gonna take me a good five minutes to get them where they, I want them. So we'll be back in about five minutes. All right, again, it might be hard to see from the camera, but our onions have just started to brown a little bit. We've got a little bit of brown bits on the bottom of the pot. All right, so now we're gonna throw our sweet potatoes. Those coated.
And we're gonna put our carrots in. Now, I like to saute the carrots and the potatoes a bit. And I'm gonna need a little bit more oil. Um, so I like to saute them a little bit to just, you know, bring out that sweetness uh, when they start to caramelize a little bit. It's not 100% necessary. That's the way I like them and we didn't I like it. So, uh, all right, I'm going to do just one little bit more sprinkle of salt. Another two pinches, two finger pinch. Um, I don't know, I just was reading somewhere or was watching a YouTube something and somebody was doing a recipe and they referred to it as a, a, a two finger pinch is a regular pinch. And then that person, I got to, I got to look back on my history because I forgot who said it, but then they, they used the term a large pinch, which is a three finger pinch. I never knew that. Well, I don't know if it's a real thing or not, but that's what that person said. All right, so again, we've got our carrots and our, our carrots and our sweet potatoes kind of coated in our oil. And we're going to let those saute for a good five, ten minutes, say eight, nine minutes. Um, and you do have to stick uh, close to the pot. You don't want to necessarily walk away from it because you don't want it to burn. So you want to stick around and give it a stir every couple minutes to move them around so you bring the ones on the bottom up the top. All right, we'll be back in about eight minutes. All right, we have been going for just about eight minutes and you, you know, again, it might be hard to see, but we've got a little, a few little caramelization bits on the um, sweet potatoes and carrots themselves. We've got some Nice brown caramelization on the bottom of our pan. All right, so we're gonna throw our garlic in. And I'm gonna give that a toss until we can smell the garlic. There, I got it. That was just about 20 seconds, maybe 25. That's like uh, really, really fresh uh, garlic. I got that at the um, produce stand today and it was their own garlic run of the summer. And, oh, it was beautiful. Um, all right, so now we're going to use probably in total about four cups of vegetable stock. For this particular phase of our recipe, we're just going to cover our vegetables, depending upon how big your pot is and so on. That'll be two to three cups probably. All right, so we just got to cover them. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of pepper. Give it two full pinches. And we'll give a three finger pinch of salt. Now that might seem like a lot of salt. Now also, of course, if you're salt sensitive or you're watching your salt intake for whatever reason, you can do it without the salt um, or even cut it in half. But I'll bet you if we've measured that, we haven't even used a teaspoon at this point of salt. Maybe not even a half a teaspoon. All right. So. So the, um, the amount of stock we're going to use is going to depend upon how thick you want it. We'll talk about that in a little while. We're not going to do our um, coconut milk yet, but we're going to throw our spices in the pot. I think I might put a little bit more stock in there. All right, then we're going to 
put this to high and we're going to bring this to a boil. And again, now's not the time to go vacuum or anything or uh, jump on the treadmill um, because you want to catch this as soon as it comes to a boil. Uh, so we'll be back when it's boiling. All right, guys, you can see we're at a nice hard boil. And it's smelling delicious. Mm -hmm. And smell that little bit of ginger and the cumin and mm. All right, so I'm gonna add our coconut. I'm gonna leave it boiling at this point, so I've left the heat. I'm gonna add our coconut milk. And I'm gonna give that a stir. All right, now even though we haven't come right back to the boil, that's fine. I'm gonna turn this down to medium and I'm gonna cover it. All right, so depending on how heavy your pan is, how well it conducts the heat, all those, you know, how much you've put in. Of course, by the way, um, this I would say will probably serve, if you use it as a, as a meal, say you're doing a soup in a sandwich, um, this will easily serve four people because uh, it's a nice, hearty, thick um, bisque. Uh, but if you're going to double it, of course, just double all the ingredients um, and you get a bigger pot, of course. Um, all right. So that's probably going to take about 20 minutes for our sweet potatoes and our carrots to come to get uh, fork tender. So we'll see you in about 20 minutes. OK, we have been simmering for just about 20 minutes. I think our carrots should be, our potatoes and carrots should be, yep, forked in. That one went right through. Let's see if we can find a carrot. Where are you carrots? And went right through a carrot. Good. All right. So now one thing I've got when we're going over the, um, directions is, is I'm going to use a little bit of cream of coconut. Again, that's going to give it a little bit more of that luscious feel that you get, mouthfeel that you get with, um, if you're using uh, cream, but just a small amount. I'm just going to put a couple, maybe about a fourth of a cup. You don't have to add the cream of coconut. Cream of coconut can be expensive. It's more, much more expensive than, um, coconut milk so you can admit it omit it all right so stir that together a bit now our next step I'm going to turn the heat off and we've got our immersion blender um if you don't have an immersion blender, um, you can certainly use a blender, a regular stand blender. Um, you know, just be careful when you're pouring it in, you look, it's going to be really hot. You could even just use a, um, potato, a, a mashed potato masher or a masher. You might not get a completely smooth, um, um, bisque out of it, but it'll be, it'll taste just as good if you don't have one, but I do got one. So we're going to give it. Now this also depends upon how um, blended you want it, how creamy you want it. If you do want it uh, a little bit more rustic, then leave some texture. For this purpose, I'm gonna blend it all. Let's 
check our texture. Oh, actually, that's just about where um, I like it. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and that has been just about, it's almost been four cups of stock. We'll put that, of course, in the recipe. Um, so if you wanted it a little bit thicker, of course, use less um, stock. If you want it a little bit thinner, um, use more. And if you make a mistake, you could always do a slurry. If you put too much in and it thins it down a little bit, do a little, do a, a cornstarch slurry. Add it in slowly till it gets to the consistency you want. <laughs> All right. I might need that again, so I'm going to put this here. Of course, let me just check it. In. Yep. So that's what I think is a really nice consistency for a soup bisque. Okay, let's give it a taste. Our seasoning, salt and pepper, because I'm dropping everything. I think it tastes delicious. I don't think it needs any more salt and pepper. It's got a nice, sweet, savory taste to it from all the sweet potatoes and carrots. All right, the only thing left to do is eat it. We'll see you when we're ready for dinner. Okay, it is time to eat. Let's give it a taste. Oh, it looks so nice. I got a little bit of mm. uh, sunflower seeds on my end. Taste it before you garbage. Mm. 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 This, is, this is good. It's delicious. Mm, it's just so wow, nice. Nice and fally and creamy. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm. It's really good. Delicious. And we're mm. going with our vegan theme. We've got our tomato sandwiches. Mm. Um, I think I mentioned in one of the recent episodes that. Uh, the um, tomatoes at the at my favorite farm stem been outstanding this year. I can't get enough of them. Mm. I keep eating them and eating them. Um, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy watching us make this video for you all. More importantly, I hope that you try this and that it becomes a favorite. Yeah. Please like and subscribe and check out SherryHillHomeCooking.com. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you on the next video. Ciao. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm. Yes, it's delicious. Very good. Mm. Mm.